Hello there, this is Welsh ASMR AD2. Hey, how you doing? So, um, I'm going to do a video about the FA Cup in England, and just, it's going to be quite a short video today, so it's just going to be about the FA Cup. I'm going to talk because there have been quite a few shocks, and a couple of surprises, and some big score lines. So that's what we're going to do in today's video. I hope you like this ASMR video. I still get lots of comments about why are you whispering? It's weird. <laughs> it's an ASMR video. It's meant to help you relax and fall asleep. And finally, I've remembered to put this on dark mode so it's not blaring white in your face. Thanks for all the comments as well. Any other further comments on things you notice, things you'd like me to change, then please go ahead and write me a little comment below. Okay, let's get going. Um, so Everton just can't get a break at the moment. Um, I did a poll on, I think it was Fiago's channel earlier on, on, on YouTube about who they think is possibly the most likely big club that will get relegated. It was between like Everton, um, who was it? West Ham, Leicester, etc. And Everton, I clicked Everton and it was like 70, 80% Everton. Uh, obviously this doesn't matter towards league points, but it would have been a good distraction. But then of course they drew Man United, which is harsh, at Old Trafford. And goal from Anthony, on goal from Cody, and then he scored as well. So he scored two goals and a penalty in the 97th minute from Rashford. So it looks like they put up a bit of a fight, actually. Because Anthony scored in the fourth minute. Connor Cody scored in the 14th. He unfortunately scored an on goal in the 52nd. And it, it was only 3-1 because of a 97th minute penalty. So, you know, they're not losing like 7-0 and stuff, but they're just losing. Talking about teams that needed a victory, I think Southampton was one. They would have been really upset about going, having to go to uh, another Premier League side and Crystal Palace is usually so strong at home, but they're starting to dip. Since they came back from the World Cup, um, they're really up and down. So 2-1 away, Ward Prowse and Armstrong to cancel out Edouard's goal. Um, that's actually like a much needed confidence boost for them. Same for Leicester, Iniacho scored the only goal of the match against Gillingham. And um, yeah, I think they could do with just a little bit of a confidence boost there. Preston beat Huddersfield 3-1. Spurs only beat Portsmouth 1-0. Harry Kane was playing. Who else was um, was playing for them? So four string goals. Davidson Sanchez, Tanganga, Ben Davis. Cessignon, Emerson Royal, Saar, Skip, Son, Hill, and Kane. The thing is, I wouldn't have risked them against Portsmouth. That front three, but they just don't have any replacements at the minute. Kulusevsky's injured. Well, he's going to come back soon. If he didn't make his substitute appearance in this game, let's have a look. Uh, no, and he's not on the bench either. I saw him in the stands the other day. So, you know, they just don't have any other players to rest. Let, you know, give Kane a day off. Um, not that he wants a day off, but he's gonna just—he's gonna be exhausted. He played a World Cup, and now he's playing every single game for Spurs. It's incredible. Okay, then Reading beat uh, Watford two 0 uh, Fleetwood beat QPR two one. It's an unusual. So Nsiala and Omochere. Well done to them. Yeah, Blackpool beat Non Forest 4 1. Uh, Ek Piteta, Poveda, Hamilton, and Yates. Um, well, Yates on either score um, sheet. So, yeah, um, that's a really massive result for Blackpool. Well done to them. Not Non Forest, I think, to be honest, could do it just concentrating on the Premier League and trying to stay in it at the second. They don't need the distraction of a cup run. Brighton beating Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough doing quite well uh, in the Championship. Uh, Brighton obviously doing very well in the Premier League. Uh, Pascal Gross, Lelana, McAllister and Undav with the goals. With, will they be able to keep McAllister? That's the question. Um, okay, and then Ipswich beating Rotherham 4-1. 
Bournemouth losing again, this time to Burnley in the league below them, 4-2. Burnley are in fantastic form at the moment. Um, but yeah, that's, again, I think Bournemouth probably, it's, it's done them a favour because they can just focus on the Premier League because their form at the second is just awful. Okay, one of the draws is Chesterfield. Incredible draw against West Brom. Um, no right to get that decision against a side that should be doing a lot better. So congrats, Chesterfield. You got the um, the ticket sales from the match in the Hawthorns to come. Uh, Sheffield United beat Millwall 2-0. No shocks there. Sheffield United having a fantastic season. Jefferson and Bogle. And then Borehamwood and Accrington won all. Fulham beating Hull 2-0. I saw the goal from Daniel James on Twitter earlier on today. It was sensational, but obviously the goalkeeper was up for a corner and it was just a bouncing ball. And he, I was saying the other day in a video about how amazing his pace is. Um, and he just caught the defender off guard and just walked into the back of the net after sprinting <laughs> for 40 yards. Um, Sunderland having a decent season, 2-1 away to Shrewsbury. Coventry Wrexham, what a game. I watched some of the highlights. Um, yeah, just cracking the second goal by Wrexham. The sort of whipped corner that went in. Um, fantastic. It's a really, you know, obviously Wrexham are non-league. I mean, as are Boreham Wood and I think Accrington as well. So Coventry having a really good season in the EPL this year. So the fact that Wrexham managed to beat them is fantastic. So um, for Coventry, Sheaf, Jürgris and Palmer and then there'll be Lee O'Connor and of course Mullin for Wrexham so um, one of my really good friends is a massive Wrexham fan and uh, yeah he um, he's absolutely off the moon ok Luton, Wigan 1-0 Grimsby beat Burt and Albion 1-0 Brentford lost home to West Ham so um, West Ham do like a good cup run don't they I remember that year they were in the FA Cup final that final with Liverpool is legendary. Um, Sheffield Wednesday beating Newcastle 2-1 but again I know I've, I've been a sort of supporter of Newcastle for like 15 years. Um, I just sort of chose a Premier League side to support with the Swans not there and obviously then the Swans did get there. Um, but Newcastle I think more than the Premier League they, they would like an FA Cup. So on one hand, I'll say, well, at least now they can focus on trying to get Champions League football. But if you say that to a magpie, they're going to say to you, no, we, we want the FA Cup more than anything. Um, so yeah, uh, I think they'll be absolutely gutted about that result. And the scorers were Kimaraish and two from Windas. What sort of team did Newcastle have out on the pitch? Oh, Isaac was back for injury. Mm, Richie and Murphy up front, no. Joe Linton, Anderson, Longstaff, Jamal Lewis, Botman, Lascelles, Monkey, Yo, Dubravka. Yeah, it was their second string team, wasn't it? But still. And then Liverpool Wolves, two all. Nunez actually put the ball into the back of the net, which is great stuff for him. Uh, Salah as well, Kedish and Huang with the goals for Wolves. They're starting to score again, actually. Good for them. Okay, and then on Sunday, my team, Swansea, we're winning against Bristol City. Bristol are a sort of derby for us. With um, Joel Pirouet. And then Semenyo scored in the 75th minute. Um, Liam Cullen got the assist though and he's having a good season. I wonder if he'll make the next Wales squad in March. Um, okay, so that's one all. Then Derby beat Barnsley 3-0. Blackburn beat Norwich 1-0 away. Goal by Vale. Blackburn having a good season in the league. Um, Walsall beat Stockport County away 2-1. Hartlepool lost at home. Jeff Stelling will be gutted. Um, Stoke scored three. Murray, Brown and Menayese. But the Murray and Menayese goals were own goals. Is Menayese Welsh? How can I... Where, where is he? I recognise the name. Yeah, he is Welsh. 25. Oh, Craig, he's way taller than me. 197 centimetres. What's that, like 6 foot 5 or something? Um, okay. 
and then Cardiff drew with Leeds to all. And they're having a terrible season, so that's fantastic for them. Filaging Bidas and Oyo against Rodrigo and 93rd minute Perkins equaliser. I feel a bit sorry for Cardiff. They, you know, they it could be a nice distraction from their um, league form. Aston Villa losing at home to Stevenage. I have a confession, I used to live in, well, just outside Stevenage. I used to teach in Stevenage. And, um, yeah, that they are, I don't remember which league they're in now, but are they in, like, League 2? That is a sensational result. And the fact that Morgan Sanson scored for Aston Villa in the 33rd minute, Aston Villa at home, and then an 88th minute penalty and a 90th minute winner for Stevenage. That's superb. And then... Man City beating Chelsea 4-0. I know I've got quite a few Chelsea fans watching this. Are you worried? Um, I mean, it's the second game in a row that they've had to lose to Man City, but did they look like they put up a fight? Because the previous match in the league, it, their performance was quite good, right? But they lost 1-0. Riyad Mahrez, the man of the match for the second time in a row. And then it looks like tonight is... Oh, actually, this is ongoing now. 3-0. Um, El Neni and Nketia with the goals for Arsenal against Oxford and then the re the second um, how can I put it the rematches the return fixtures these are the matches that drew Wigan Luton Leeds at Cardiff Wolves Liverpool Swansea Bristol City Forest Green Birmingham Accrington Bournemouth West Brom Chesterfield so cool I hope you enjoyed the video if you've got any comments about different performances and score lines, things you were shocked at, surprised at, pleased with, disgusted by, then uh, do let me know and tell me who you think is going to win the FA Cup this year. I think, boringly, my money is on Man City. But um, a Wrexham run would make me very happy. <laughs> okay, take it easy, everyone. Speak soon. Bye.